All right, so let's get some music going. We will warm up. Wider than your hips, big circles backwards. There you go, big Sunday morning arm circles. Knees are a little bit soft. Good. Take a big inhale here and exhale. All right, let's go the other way. There you go, just warming up those shoulders. Good, take them out to the side. Give me a little crisscross. Right over left, left over right. Feeling the back warming up. Open up that chest. All right, let's march it out. Give me that march. Pumping those arms right by your side. Big inhale with the arms. And then exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. One more time. All right, we do a little step touch side to side. Here we go. So let me see you taking some big wide steps. Arms coming up and down. Hamstring curls. Draw your elbows back. Open up that chest. Go ahead and pull that belly button in. Nice, strong core. Back to step touch, side to side. There you go. Just nice and easy. Back to hamstring curls. I want you to reach high. Pull those elbows down and back. Kicking up that heel. All right, we're going to take it to knees in front. Give me those knees. You got a little standing nap crunch here. Draw those hands right down to the knee. All right, little bounce on the toes, little bounce. I just want you to light bounce, warming up those ankles, shaking out those arms. You got it. If you don't want to bounce, you're welcome to keep that march going. All right, butt kickers or go back to those hamstring curls. So if it's feeling all right for you to do those butt kickers today, kick those heels up high. We just want to get that core temperature up. Good. Four more counts. Three, two, and last one. Plant those feet on the floor, toes face in front. Let's do some squats to warm up the legs. Down and up, here we go. Drop, lift. On the way up, push those palms to the back of the room. Pull those shoulders back. All right, let's reach for the floor, reach for the sky. Reach reach down and up so on that squat look forward you got to push the hips back bend your knees good give me one more excellent march it out right foot forward lunges right left so we're stepping forward, waking up those hip flexors, warming up the legs. Good, four more. One more. Reach for the sky, right, left, right. So alternate those toe taps, little sink in the middle, sweep across front, right around. You got it, rotate, reach for the sides of the room. Take 
take it up. Four of them. Three. Sweep and cross. Take it up for four. Sweep across. Both arms out to the sides. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. Good, warming up that core. Can you get a little lower, get a little wider? Plant your feet, side lunges. So you're hinging forward, waking up those inner thighs. Four more, three. Beautiful, hold it here, grab those inner thighs, open them up, round your back, and then arch it. Let's stretch out that back, round and arch. All right, let's round it all the way up. Big shoulder roll. Time to come to the end of your mat. We're gonna walk it out into plank. Do some stretches down here. So pull forward, reach for your toes. Walk it out to plank. Now hold it in plank here. I want you to take a look at your wrist, your elbows, your shoulders. They're all in one straight line. You're right under, you're right over those hands. Put your belly button in, engage your core. Right knee then left, right, left. Just some slow mountain climbers, still warming up. You have four more. Last one. Take it into downward dog, tuck your chin in, push those hips up to the sky, and pedal out your heels. So bend one knee then the other. Your biceps are right by your ears. That should feel good. Nice good morning stretch. Take it back into plank. Right foot steps outside that right hand. So both hands are on the inside here. Draw your shoulder blades together. Rock it back and forth. You're welcome to drop that back knee down. If you need it, take it. Take that right arm up and under a few times. So sweep under. Really rotate. Follow the hand with your eyes. One more. Come back into plank. Left foot steps outside that left hand. Rock it back and forth. Drop that back knee if you need to. Left knee is over that left ankle. Left arm coming up to the sky. Look at it with your eyes. Sweep it underneath your chest and reach and rotate. Up and under. Couple more times. Beautiful. Take that foot back. Let's bring our knees down. We're in tabletop here. Hands right underneath your shoulders, knees apart. With that right knee bent, big circles backwards. Big hip opener. Take your time, make a big circle. And then reverse direction, same leg, up and around. Nice job, guys. Put that right knee down. Let's go backwards circles with that left leg. Come on, open up that hip. Reverse direction. All right, put that knee down. Come up on those toes. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take your time, round it up. Couple shoulder rolls. Are we awake, ready to work? All right, so the way it's gonna work today, we have three circuits, four exercises in each. So we'll go A, B, A, B, and then C, D, C, D. All right, first exercise, you need one heavy weight. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna step out to the side like a side lunge. You're gonna clean and press it up. So we'll step out with our right foot. Our left hand will have that weight. And then we'll go into kettlebell swings after that. So 45 second work, 15 second rest. Grab a heavier weight in that left hand. Let me get my timer started. 
All right, so let's start with those feet together. We'll just go one way for this first 45 seconds. So inner thigh to clean and press. Step out, hinge forward, reach for that foot, and push it up to the sky. There you go. We have a compound exercise going on here. Inner thigh work, booty work, and shoulder work. I want you to lean forward as you step out, look forward. You need to push off that right butt. All right. Feet apart. Rest. Work with that heavy weight. We're going to do that kettlebell swing. So we'll hold on to the top of that weight with both hands. All right, kettlebell swing. It's not too crazy heavy. Maybe only have a 10 or a 12. But let's not let that weight go higher than our chest. Let's stop about chest height here. So side view, you need to bend those knees. Stick that booty back. Keep that back flat. You should feel that where the bottom of your butt meets the top of your leg. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lift that chest. Keep those arms long. Beautiful, guys. Rest. All right, take a 15 second rest. You deserve it. Weight in your right hand. We're going to step out that way. We're going to reach for the foot, then we'll go up and over with that hand, just like the other side. Big step. Clean the press. There you go. I want you to keep that right leg straight as you step out to the side. Hope you have something meaty today, right? Maybe an eight or a 10 here would look great. You gotta come on, push off that left foot. Stand up tall. Looks good, my friends, nice work. Are you breathing a little harder? I hope so. Rest. All right, shake it out a little bit. We're going back into those kettlebell swings. So feet apart, toes face front. Draw those shoulders down from your ears. All right, slight bend to the knee, slight. It's not a squat here. With that swing, we hinge forward and then drive our hips forward. That core needs to be nice and tight here, supporting that lower back. All right, when you hear that bell, keep a hold of that weight. We're going down to the floor. All right. Come on down on all fours. Put that weight behind your right leg on your forearms. We're going to lift that right leg up and down with that weight tucked behind your knee. Weight is optional, my friend. If you don't like the weight, don't use it. Now I want your forearms parallel, so spread your fingers wide. Look at your fingertips. Lift that right leg. Squeeze that weight right underneath the knee. Great way to work the booty. Don't scrunch up those shoulders. Next day's long. All right, have a seat. Grab that weight. Feet are 
here on the floor, we're gonna tap that weight side to side. Little oblique work here. So lean back, pull your belly in. It's like you have an hourglass, right, with that weight. We're gonna take it from one side to the other. Yes. So show you side view. You're leaning back so you engage your core. Pulling that belly button in. Tap that weight. Take your time. Don't rush it. No momentum here. Let the core do the work. Come on, stay with me. You can do this. On your hands and your forearms, tuck that weight behind your left leg, tuck it in, right in that crease, come down to your forearms, get your balance here. Left leg this time, up and down. You might feel stronger on one side. Take note of any imbalances you have and try to work on those. You want to even things out. Maybe you can stay with the music. Let it drive you. Do not fling that leg up there. Place it. Grab that weight. Going back to our twist. Feet on the floor. Dig those heels in. Lean back. Pull your shoulders down. Right here, tap. I want you to visualize that rotation through the core. Obliques working upper abs. A little bit through the lower abs. Come on, keep breathing. Nice work. Happy Sunday. All right, we're going into our next circuit when you hear the bell. So go ahead and stand up. Beautiful, come on up guys. Second circuit. We're gonna hold that dumbbell. It is a squat to a alternating leg lift. Weight right here, feet apart. Squat, side leg lift. Place that leg. Do not swing it. Lead with your heel. Flex your foot. Toe faces front. You want an extra challenge? Tap your elbows down to your quads. Nice work. Look forward, eyes on the horizon. All right. I want your right foot right. forward. Kick stand with your left leg. Take a look. It's like a single leg deadlift, but we're not going to lift that right leg. Right leg stays on the ball of your foot right here. Keep your back flat. Hinge forward. Booty back. Rise up. So you should feel that in your right hamstring, right glute. Do not round the back. You have to lead with your chest, push into the heel of that right foot. Push into the ball of the foot of your left. Great way to work the posterior chain here. To get to you ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind. 
Did you feel that yes. right back there? That's where you're supposed to feel it. I hope you did. Let's go back to that squat to leg lift, alternating leg lifts. Grab one meaty weight. Drop and lift. If that doesn't bother your knees, let me see you sink down low. Maybe your elbows tap your legs. There you go, come on, a little squeeze up at the top for that outer thigh. You got it, nice work, I can see you. That left foot is forward. Kick stand with the right. Stand up tall. The weight's in your right hand. We're going to hinge forward. So it is a single leg deadlift, but we're not going to lift that back leg. I want you to push the ball of your right foot into the floor. Left heel, drive it into the floor. I need you to stick that booty way back. You should be feeling a little something something at the bottom of your butt. So that leg you're standing on is a little soft, a little bend in that knee. Excellent, guys. All right, next Rinse. exercise. On the floor, tricep extensions, one heavy weight. Legs are up. Take a look. You're going to bend your elbows and extend them. So, on your back, push that lower back into the floor. Legs are 90 degrees to your body. If that bothers your back, Put your feet on the floor. You do not have to use the legs, but I want you to get more using the arms here. So those arms stay parallel. Elbows right above your shoulders. Tricep extension. There you go. Nice job. Triceps and core here. guys rock and roll it up we're going into body saw so come on your forearms you can be on your knees or your toes here we're gonna rock back and forth on the balls of your feet work it is a very subtle move your forearms are parallel you're looking at the top of your mat you're drawing the bottom of your rib cage towards the top of your hips you're pointing and flexing your feet. Don't let those shoulders creep up to your ears. Keep that neck long. Option, just hold it and plank. How do we do with that, my friends? Rich. Harder than it looks, huh? Grab that weight for the triceps. Legs are up in the sky. Arms are up in the sky. Everything's extended here. We're going to bend the elbows the same time we bend those knees. Take your time. Maybe count. Two counts down, two counts up. Let's keep it even both ways. Concentric and eccentric. Come on, back is flat. Draw that belly button in. Kind of like a little skull crusher here, right? Driving that weight down towards your forehead. Don't let your knees creep in towards you. Keep those knees above the hips. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. All right, on Rips. those forearms. One more time for that body soft. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Fingers spread wide on your knees or your toes. We're gonna slide it forward and back. So push the elbows down into the floor. Draw them back towards your rib cage. Don't drop that head. Look at your fingertips. Look at the top of your mat. Go ahead and tighten up your quads. Tighten up your butt. That will help. I didn't say it was going to be easy, did I? Great way to work the core here. We'll get better every time we do it. Yeah. All right, come on up, last circuit. Take a quick sip of water. Doing great. All right, grab some lighter weights. We're gonna start down on the mat here. So let's start with that right foot forward. Your left knee is on the mat. I'm going to show you a little side view here. So you're going to tuck under those back toes. We are going to rise up and tap down, right? If that's too much for you, you can start up here. But we're going to have arms out here, right to the side. You're going to rise up as you push that left arm up. So left foot's back. You'll get it. Just follow along. All right, set it up right here. Give me that little goal post here. Tuck your back toe under. Rise up. Tap down. If it bothers your knees to tap the floor, you stay a little bit off that floor. So right arm's not moving, only our left. We have an isometric hold for that right arm. Beautiful, nice coordination, my friends. Good job. Shoulders away from your ears. Take your time, you're on railroad track. Beautiful, nice work. Come down on that knee. Reverse fly. So we're gonna put our belly on that front plot, on that front leg. Palms face each other. Side view over here, we're gonna lift up and we're gonna come down. So set it up. You need to lean forward. So you work your back. If you're upright, you're only working your shoulders. You should feel that belly on that front leg. Come on, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Work in the posterior chain here, work in that back. Don't drop that head. with me? All right, left leg forward. Right knee on the floor. Tuck that toe under. Arms out to the side and goal post. We're going to rise up. All right, let's bring that arm up. Lower down. Option to tap that knee on the floor. You're in elevator. You're going straight down. You're going straight up. Yes, we can do this. You guys always like a little challenge every now and then, right? Come on, isometric hold for that left arm. Do not put it down. Compound exercise, shoulders and legs. Oh, all right, bring that back knee down. More reverse fly. Lean forward. Rest your, rest your belly on that leg. Pull your shoulders down and back. Reverse fly. 
That's all right. I see some of you standing up. That's cool. If that bothers your knees, stand up and give me the reverse fly. See, you don't think I can see you. I can see you. I know what you're doing. You're with me. You're doing great. Light grip on those weights. They don't like it when you squeeze them too hard. All right, let's do some side planks. Rips. On your forearm, on your right side. Level one, your bottom leg is bent. You're going to sweep under. Level two, stagger your feet. Lift your arm up. Rotate, lift your bum, come through, rise back up. So it's like a little corkscrew here. You lift that bum, you follow your hand with your eyes. Right modification, I give you permission to drop that bottom leg if you need to. Otherwise, you're on the sides of your feet. You're pulling through, lifting your hips, and rising up. Lay on your belly. Rest. Star Superman. So, arms are in a V, legs are spread wide, toes are pointed. Very simple, we're just gonna lift up and down. Little squeeze up at the top, and then release down. Straighten out those legs, straighten out your arms. Push your pelvis into the floor. Head in line with your spine. Come on, we're sculpting the back here, those little muscles in the back that keep us standing tall and proud. Get the other Rips. side. On the left, on your forearm. Feet can be staggered on the sides of your feet, or you can bend that bottom knee. All right, twist through, lift those hips a little bit, follow your hand with your eyes, and then reach on up. You should feel that in that left oblique as you lift the hips and reach through. Come on, breathe with me. Get the oxygen to the muscles. It works, it helps. Drive it through and bring it on up. Straighten out your legs. Lift it all up and then let it go. This is one of those extras. It's tough. It sucks. We were working a little muscles in our lower back. But it works. It's so effective. So many times we only want to work the front of our body when the back needs just as much love, maybe even more love. So give it a little squeeze up top. Come on, you have a quarter between those butt cheeks. I want you to squeeze that quarter. Beautiful, guys. Rips. Come on up, take a sip of water, you're doing great. So what did you think about the first half hour of your workout? You liked it, right? Would you like to do it all over again? 
Yeah, let's do it. We, yes, I, you're mouthing words. I can't hear you. All right, anybody remember that first exercise? Yes, oh my God's right. Come on, come on. All right, you guys, remember first exercise, right? So we're gonna start out, it'll be that side lunge into an overhead press. This is where the magic happens. This is where we get results. All right, so let's start with those feet together. Shoulders back, chest lifted. We're gonna step out, weights in this hand. All right, inner thigh to a clean and press. So keep that weight close to your body. You'll pull it up to that armpit, give a little flip, and push it on up. Come on, stick that booty back. Keep that right leg straight as you hinge forward. Excellent work. There you go, come on, working that inner thigh. Nice job, all right. Rest. Going into those kettlebell swings. Grab something heavier if you have it. You have a kettlebell, feel free to use it. I just don't have one. All right, so knees are soft, shoulders down. Work. You just barely bending your knees, right? Take a look at my knee, barely bending, sticking that booty back. So you should not feel this in your arms at all. It is a total leg exercise. Come on, you can stand up tall, come back to that plank. Pull your shoulders back, lift your chest, drive your hips forward. All right, side lunge out this way, weight in that left hand. Start with those feet together. All right, inner thigh, clean and press. One arm clean and press. For those group power girls or the body pump girls, just like if you're holding that bar, it's that clean to press with that left arm. Come on, keep that weight close to your body. Keep going, you can do it. swings. Toes face front, big shoulder roll back. Draw that belly button in. All right, let's Work. swing it. So you hinge at the hip, just a slight hinge. You're not leaning too far forward. Just letting those arms fly. We're not working our shoulders at all here. This is a leg exercise. Come on, little squeeze of the booty when you stand up. Nice form, looks really good. All right, meet me on the floor. Rich. Put that weight behind your left knee. Come to your forearms. Pull your belly in. Left leg's going up and down. Work. Just the left leg. Keep that knee bent. Squeeze that weight. Come on, little squeeze for the booty up top. Lift your thumbs. Don't drop that head. There's nothing to look at down there. 
Draw your belly in another centimeter. Yes, stabilizing leg is working as well, isn't it? Rest. We have those twists. So heels on the floor. Grab the sides of those weights. We're going to tilt that hourglass side to side as we tap the floor. I like you tapping the floor so you get the full rotation. Beautiful. So we're leaning back a bit, tapping the side of the weight to the floor. Yes, really twist. It's hard to go slower. It is. Because you're taking out the momentum, letting the muscle do the work. All right, on your forearms, that weight is behind your right knee. Remember, weight is optional. If you don't like it, ditch it on your forearms. Let's start again. Go ahead and flex that right foot. Try and keep that knee off the floor. Lift it straight up, come straight down. Like to be the music, let it drive you. This is the hard way We can be together. You got it. Buns of steel, my friends. Let's work on it together. We can be Beautiful. All right. Give me those twists, grab that weight, have a seat. Shoulders back, lean back, engage your core. Work. Tap that weight side to side. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always great way to give you some definition through the middle here. This way to scream it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. Yes, make that big rainbow right over your middle, right? It's purple, yellow, green, orange, big rainbow right over that belly button. We haven't made any rainbows today. Let's make some rainbows. All right, come on up. Squat, two leg lifts. Grab your kettlebell, your heavy weight right here. We're heading into that second circuit. Toes face front. Squat, two lift. Squeeze up at the top. Lead with your heel. Toe faces to the front. Looking forward. Maybe you're going to tap those elbows to your legs. Maybe not. Whatever works for you. All together, my friends. Nice part. All right. Single leg deadlift. So, right foot forward. Left foot back, stand tall, knees up. So take a look. We're going to hinge forward and then we're going to rise up. Stick that booty out. I don't want you to lift that back leg so you feel it more in that right hamstring. It's not about how low you can go. It's about keeping your back flat 
as you hinge at the hip. You should be feeling that right there. Try not to pop it up. Take your time. Beautiful. Shake it out. Hopefully you'll feel a little something later today there. Back your little squat to leg lift. Aren't you guys happy I didn't make you do burpees today? No jumping, no back flips, no bad cheerleader. It's a lot of muscle and core work today. But by us doing these compound exercises, it keeps that heart rate up. The more muscle we have, the higher our metabolism. We are rock stars. Come on, sink. Don't get lazy on me. Get down there. All right. Rest. So this time, other foot forward. So for me, my left foot is forward. That weight is in my right hand. I got a little kickstand with my right foot. Hinge forward. Reach for the towel. Rise up. Stick that booty back. Yes. Come on, like you're showing off. Someone behind you. You give them a little booty flash there. There you go, friend knees a little bit soft. Drive the ball of that back foot into the floor. The heel of the front foot is driving into the floor. Just let your arm hang. Arm's not working. Arm's not doing anything right here. Yes, you guys, nice form. That looks really good. All right, tricep extensions nice. on your back. Feet are off the floor. Knees are straight. So legs up, arms up, one heavy weight. Bend the knees and elbows to a 90 degree. Rise back up. Legs are optional. You don't want to add the core in here. You put those feet on the floor. What's going to work for you today? Are those elbows above your shoulders? Or are they more towards your belly? Come on, let's get those elbows back a little bit. And don't bring it up real quick. I want you to take it up slow, right? That's our eccentric move. No need to rush. All right, body soft. Rinse. Come over onto your forearms. On your knees or your toes. Arms are parallel. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Point and flex those feet. Drive your head past your fingertips. Come back to that plank position. Yes, you can be holding it on your knees here. Bring that belly in. You can lift your knees one at a time, or you can give me that body saw. Lots of options here. I'd rather have your butt a little higher than a little lower. All right, one more time for those triceps. This is where we get results. This is where the magic happens. Let's work them. Legs up, arms up. Bend and straighten. Take those arms back a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I want you to feel something in your triceps. Upper back of your arm. And I like the fact that we're getting some core work here as well. Any 
Anybody else shaking yet? Shaking means you're human. We're breaking the muscle down to bring it back stronger. One more time. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Fingers spread wide on your knees or your toes. Work. Keep that body just like a flat board. Take it forward and back. Come on, bottom of your ribcage towards your hips. Draw everything together. Looking at those fingers now. Don't drop your head. Beautiful. Come on, keep it going. You can do this. 15 more seconds. Come on, let me see. Let me see. Yes, nice work, guys. All right, take a sip of water. We have one last circuit left. I'm not done with you yet. Mm -hmm. Come on, one last circuit, guys. Let's do it together. Anybody remember that last circuit? No? Well, I'll remind you. Don't worry about it. All right, last circuit. Here we go. Those light weights. We have that static lunge, right? So, you could be, let's start with that left foot forward, right? You can be here, or you can start down on your knee, all right? It's harder to start down on your knee, but otherwise you start up. So, left foot forward, arms out here. This arm's gonna go up, tuck that foot arm, up and down. So, if you're in a static lunge here, think elevator down and up. Palms face the front. If you're coming all the way down, you've got more of a challenge. Yes, it's nice if you have that cushion there for your knee. Nice work, that looks great. Take your time going down, take your time going up. Static, static hold for that right arm. All right, come down on that knee. Rest. Lean forward. Put that belly button on. Pull your shoulder blades together. Palms face each other. Look out a few feet in front of you. Reverse flies. Work. Keep a little bend to your elbow. That front knee is over your ankle. If it's not, walk that foot out a little bit. We don't want to put any pressure on our knee. Come on, a little squeeze up top. I want you to focus on the middle of your upper back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. Take your time. Shall we? So you can start standing up if you want in that static lunge, but I'm going to tuck that back knee under. We've got our arms in goal posts here. We're going to rise up. Work. Yes, yeah, so if I don't want to come down to the floor, I'm here. Right? We all know those static lunges, 90 degree, 90 degree. Otherwise, I can come all the way down, all the way up. Static hold for that left arm. Oh, how's that left arm doing with that static hold? Getting heavy, isn't it? But well, we're doing it. We're driving through together. Come on, down and up. 
Beautiful. All right. Down on that Next. knee. Hinge forward. Belly on that leg. Palms face each other. Draw those shoulders down. Let's fly. Is that ankle right underneath your knee? Again, if you don't want to be on your knees, you can do the fly standing up, right? You can be here. That is totally an option for you. What's going to work for your back today? Don't lower down too fast. Nice and slow. Side plank. Ready. Let's start on our left side. Last two exercises, my friends. So stagger those feet. We're going to thread the needle. Lift those hips up. All right, as you come through, push those hips up, rotate, like a little corkscrew. You can drop that bottom knee down if you need to. It's that left oblique that's driving those hips up. Star Superman, so on your belly, legs apart. Spread those arms in a V. Head in line with your spine. We're gonna lift and lower. Come on, a little squeeze up top, lower down. Keep those legs straight, don't bend your knees. <laughs> the tendency is you wanna fling our knees up, right? Keep those legs straight, squeeze your booty, Tighten up your legs. Come on, a little lower back work here. Are we feeling the magic? Is it working? Lower back, booty. Right, so you look good when you walk away. That's what we want, right? All right, side plank. Rips. On that left side, or on your right side, sorry. Right side, stagger those feet. Lift your hips up. Elbow right underneath your shoulder. All right, lift those hips up. Slide through. And up. You really feel it more if you can lift those hips a little bit. Get that booty up. And then take it into that side plank. Try to feel on both feet. You might be surprised that you can do it on both feet. We are so close, team. Stay with me. Let's finish strong on this core work. All right, last 45 seconds. Give me that star Superman. On your belly. Arms in a V, legs apart, belly and tight. Scoop it in. Lift everything, lower down. Let the lower back do the work. Squeeze that quarter between your butt cheeks. This will sculpt the booty, the back. Come on, empty it out. Finish strong with me. You 
You are done. Rinse. Nice work. Are you melting into your mat right now? Let's stretch it out, shall we? Grab one foot. There you go. Rest your head on your forearm. Pull that heel back. Maybe it's touching your booty. Stretching out the quadricep. Deep breath in. Ooh, you did it. Sorry, I kind of kept you over the time limit a little bit. A little bit. You okay with that? Let's switch. Switch legs. You didn't care, right? That was fine with you. It's all good. All right, let's take it into child's pose. This is gonna feel good. So toes wide, feet together. Bring that booty back, crawl your fingers forward. Head comes all the way down. Walk those hands over to the right, maybe even off your mat, stretch out the left side of your body. And then walk those hands over the other side. Push those hips back. Let's come into tabletop here. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees apart, little cow and cat. So look up, arch your back, inhale. And as you exhale, round your back, chin to chest, separate your shoulder blades. Inhale, look up, pull your shoulders away. And exhale, round your back, chin to chest, separate those shoulder blades. Good, tuck those, no, let's, you know what, let's have a seat. Let's have a seat here. So have a seat. Let's take a hamstring stretch. So right leg is extended, left foot right in that inner thigh there. Yes, there you go, sitting up tall. That's okay, let the sweat come out now. You're detoxifying, right? Hinge forward, reach for that foot. Maybe you're gonna grab your shin, your ankle. Oh, but let's just stretch out that right hamstring here. And I want you to think about pushing that knee down towards the floor. And then let's switch, other side. So extend that leg. Right foot comes in towards that inner thigh. Drive that knee down towards the floor. Hinge forward towards that foot. Bring those feet back center. Let's cross our right leg over our left. Take our hands behind us and push into that leg, just stretching out your glutes. Draw your shoulders back, chest lifted. Good, enjoy that glute stretch here. All right, other side, switch. Good, push those hands into the floor, draw your shoulders back, lift your chest, push that leg into the front. Good, drive that knee away from you. Excellent. All right, on your feet, let's come all the way up. Triceps, grab your elbow, pull down and back. Nice work today. That was a long, tough, hard muscle core workout. But we did it together. We showed up, we conquered, and now we can enjoy the rest of our day. Take those arms out to the side, draw those shoulders back, open it up. Knees are a little bit soft here. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Lift those arms up, pull those shoulders down. Take those feet apart. Let's do a couple deep breaths here. So arms coming up, big inhale. And exhale on the way down. A couple more times, inhale. And exhale. This time those hands are coming together, palm to palm, up at the top, drawing them down into your heart. Happy Sunday, my friends. Good work. You did great. Thank you so much for coming. And I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Let me unmute you all.